What's up, y'all? It's Dr. Paul with Liberty Hill Comics, where I share my passion and over 40 years of experience comic book collecting, investing, and conservation with you. Today, we're starting a new conservation project for this copy of Flash number 139, the first appearance of the Reverse Flash, a.k.a. Professor Zoom, a.k.a. Eobard Thawne. It was published in September 1963 by DC Comics and credited to writer John Broom and artist Carmine Infantino. This is a big Silver Age key from the Flash's rogues gallery, and this copy belongs to a friend of the channel. They asked us to do a conservation on it. In today's video, I'm going to do a complete assessment of this book and come up with a conservation game plan. I really love these early Silver Age Flash books, and I think Flash's rogues gallery is one of the best in all of comics, so I'm excited to get this project kicked off. But before we get to our main topic, I want to remind everyone that we are closing in on our goal of 1,000 subscribers, and in appreciation of subscribers new and old, I'm giving away this copy of Star Wars number 1 in CGC 7.5 with white pages. This is the first appearance of Luke, Leia, Vader, R2, 3PO, and a host of others, as well as the first cover appearance of Obi-Wan and Han Solo. It was published six weeks before A New Hope opened in theaters in 1977. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and follow the link over to that video to comment there for a chance to win. Whenever we begin a new conservation project, I start with my nine-step conservation process. Not all comic books require all nine steps, and we combine steps where we can, developing an efficient and low-risk approach to the conservation project. I always take this disciplined approach, which yields the best consistent results, and it all starts with a proper assessment and documentation of the condition of the comic book with which we are starting. So, let's do a walk through the book and document what we see, both in writing as well as with pictures, and as we go through the book, we'll develop a game plan, which I'll provide at the conclusion of this video. All right, let's get to work. I'm going to keep saying this. Make sure you have clean and dry hands before you handle old comic books. This came to us in a mylar with the backing board in the centerfold again. And I had already removed tape from the mylar just to make sure we don't have a tape pull anywhere. This looks like an acid-free backer board. First impression of the book is it looks pretty solid. It does have a little bit of wear and tear. The upper right corner is missing. It's about an eighth inch triangle. But look, I found it in the mylar. So we can replace that on the book. That's good news. The other thing that stands out is this tear on the bottom, but it's also all there. So it's kind of a compound tear, but we should be able to repair that. There's a tiny tear here. It's only about a sixteenth of an inch, but since we're going to be mending paper anyway, we may as well fix it. The inside of the cover is tanned quite a bit more than the outside but the interior pages look quite nice. Using my owl card, the interior looks creamy, but it does look pretty uniform, a little bit lighter in the middle, creamy along the edges. The interior pages are off-white, maybe just a little bit darker on this first wrap than off-white. I think the rest of the interior pages are off-white. They actually look really nice. We have two tears here on the bottom of the page, three quarters of an inch there, and about an eighth of an inch there. And unfortunately, those run through the entire first half of the book. So every wrap of this book has tears in it. Love how we have that, here are those tears. We have that wide margin at the top like the Golden Age books in these early Silver Age books from DC. 
that tear going through this the third wrap now look how nice the inks look fourth wrap tear the Palisades amusement park coupon is there it's good New York was a huge market for these comics so I've seen plenty of those missing look at this great splash page from Carmine Infantino what a genius tear here sometimes those are from the printing process but I don't think so this lines up on several pages I think that's some damage that a reader did an enthusiastic reader some point in the previous 60 years that this comic has existed here we're at the centerfold I like to check page quality again at the centerfold it's a little bit lighter like I said than the first wrap but I would call it off-white the upper right corner here is missing but let's look at the staples there is a horizontal rip in the paper at the top prong of the top staple and it looks like this bottom staple the whole paper might be pulled we're going to disassemble the books so we'll give those a closer look then There's that horizontal tear at the top of the staple in there. Like I said, there's some damage at that bottom one. I think it's just pulled all the way. But overall, nice paper quality. Paper supple, solid. It's not beaten. It's not threadbare. It's not overly soiled. This is a pretty clean book overall. Again, those great Carmine Infantino pencils upper right corner of several of these pages in the second half of the book missing this one as well nice dark blacks overall a really nice book I've had several copies of this book and I've worked on a few this is a this one presents quite well Let's do page quality assessment here again. Interior of the cover, darker than the exterior. It's definitely creams, darker than off-white, not quite tan using the owl card. Again, I'll remind you, this is the owl card from Overstreet. It does not match up exactly with the color designations for the page quality that CGC uses, but it's the best tool we have because CGC hasn't published one yet. On the exterior, the whites are closer to off-white, a little bit darker, a little bit creamy, but not as dark as they are in the interior. My video does some color correcting. I took some stills against white backgrounds, and I think we can see the colors, the, the paper quality, a little bit more correctly with those, so we'll review in greater detail with these stills. And here's the first one. You can see here the difference between the white paper and the tanning that's on this cover, but inks are really vivid. There's some creasing, but overall the book has good bones. It's solid. It's got that small piece missing out of the upper right corner, small tear on the leading edge here on the right side, and then that compound tear on the bottom. But the paper's all there, so we can repair it. Speaking of, we'll be reattaching this little piece We'll take note that when we wash the cover, we want to wash this little piece at the same time so that any difference in tanning removal won't be noticeable when we reattach this piece to the cover. On the back, a little bit darker, maybe just owing to the fact there's more white back here, but we don't have the same structural issues that we have on the front. Overall, this is going to require a very minimal dry cleaning it's a clean book as i mentioned before and i think this is going to be a great project for us i noted that the interior of the book is tanned much darker than the outside of the book and that i assume is from the acidity from the interior pages so overall these are closer to cream especially along that bottom edge they might even be a slightly darker than cream Whereas on the, the outside, the whites look 
closer to off-white. Here you see that tiny tear we can repair on the leading edge of the page and then that compound tear on the bottom. And then of course essentially every wrap in the book has tears on the interior so we're going to want to repair all of these I think to maximize the way this book presents and the grade that the owner could get for it ultimately. So this project's going to take a while. Here we see the centerfold staple holes. First one has a tear horizontally at the top prong. And this one, again, it looks to me like it's completely pulled and we're looking at the staple essentially holding the next wrap down. But we'll see exactly what we're working with when we get this disassembled. So after reviewing all my notes in the video, my observations, the stills, and talking to the owner about the conservation plan, here's what we came up with. Step one you just saw, that's the assessment, documentation, how the comic exists today. Step two is going to be dry clean. We always dry clean before we wet clean because we don't want any soiling on the surface to be solubilized and then actually pulled down into the paper matrix. Step three is going to be a wet clean. We would like to remove some of the tanning that's especially evident on the interior of this cover and we'd like to provide some chemical stabilization. That tanning is evidence of acid catalyzed hydrolysis of the cellulose fibers. That's the breaking down and destruction of the paper. What we'd like to do is stabilize it, buffer it, provide an alkaline reserve in the paper and we'll use conservation techniques to do that. I think it warrants a little bit of a non-ionic surfactant, so we'll probably add Triton X100 to it, just 0.5% by volume. And then, of course, we have a lot of repairs to make. So there's tears in essentially every one of the inner wraps, as well as multiple tears to the cover here. Fortunately for us, all of the paper is present. So a repair with Japanese paper and wheat paste will be a conservation repair archival and will net us a conserved grade on this book from CGC but that's exactly what the owner's looking for here. The best preservation of this book for the next century. It survived 60 years. We'd love to see it go another hundred. So that's going to be step four. And then of course we'll reassemble the book, do a final press and document the before and after changes. That's essentially our game plan. I'm really looking forward to this. This is a great classic book. This one's been homaged a lot and for good reason. Carmine Infantino, genius. So now that we have a game plan, let's wrap up episode one here. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for the kickoff of a new conservation project for the first appearance of the Reverse Flash. What do you think of our decision to conserve this Silver Age book? I'll be dropping episode two soon, so stay tuned. This one should be fun. If you enjoyed this video, please take a few seconds to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps me out. Until next time, take care of one another.